So it's Monday the 13th of February 2017 and I'm back in Sydney, Australia now after having flown uh, from the USA yesterday. And uh, during the flight I took a lot of short clips and uh, I'm going to put together a couple of videos but this is the first one I wanted to present and we're just in uh, suncalc.org. I want you to take note of the location, okay? The longitude is east 161 degrees 58 minutes and the latitude is south 22 degrees 40 minutes okay so we're basically uh, off the east coast of Australia and that's where we were as we were tracking down towards Sydney on our return from the USA the time is the 12th of February and it's 1901 UTC plus zero so I've actually had to set the uh, clock in my laptop to that time so I can get UTC on this actual website but let's have a look at the Sun the Sun has just risen at 1901 if we go back just one minute just back one minute you'll see the Sun has not risen okay so it's just slightly below the horizon now let's go back another 17 minutes so we've now got 1843 UTC the Sun is now several degrees below the horizon you can see the azimuth is uh, 106.76 and the altitude is minus 4.6 degrees so it's well below the horizon so if we're on the ground from the sea level in a boat we could not see the sun however at 45,000 feet the sun was evident as you'll see in the next part of the video now the only way that is possible is if the horizon has actually dropped below level okay and at 45,000 feet the horizon drops clearly so you'll see at sea level it's minus 4.6 degrees we should not see the Sun at this latitude and longitude at that time UTC so watch this video and just a few minutes after I took that uh, video have a look at the artificial horizon in the aeroplane we're flying completely wings level there's no angle of bank at all and have a look at the angle of the shadow on those knobs on the aircraft you'll see the Sun's rays are angled upwards coming in from the left hand side now how is that possible if the Sun is above us doing circles the Sun must be below our level to produce that shadow angle and that's only possible if the uh, horizon has dropped below eye level and the Sun is visible just above that dropped horizon it's just clearly evident so on the uh, flight from Sydney Australia to Hawaii yesterday I was again able to capture a nice sunrise and uh, this time the horizon was very clear it was a, a nice sharp horizon there wasn't too much haze you can see the position of the Sun and the horizon is well below these eye alignment balls now that's true eye level when we're sitting in the cockpit you can see that the horizon and the Sun is well below this now if we pan further into the video you can also see that the EVS and hence vision system is matching perfectly to the visible horizon and again that is now several degrees below true level this line here is indicating true level so we've got the Sun below eye level and true level and the horizon below eye level and true level now if we go further into the video I actually then pan down at the flight management system and capture the location and also the UTC time there's the location and there's UTC time 1700 UTC now let's once again go into suncalc.org for that particular location that exact latitude and longitude on the day of 17th of February at 1700 UTC notice again we've got the altitude of the Sun is minus 4.6 degrees so it's actually below should be below the horizon if we're at sea level we wouldn't even see the Sun we're at 45,000 feet and the Sun 
is evident. So that's again more clear evidence of the Earth's curvature. Otherwise we would not be able to see the Sun at this time UTC at this location.